All right, we're going to look over this uh, DoorandocSolutionsInc.com. Look for some common SEO mistakes and see how they can improve their uh, their current rankings. And first, we'll take a quick peek at those. All right, Dorndock Solutions. Go to Overview. This is a uh, SEMrush. All right. So looks like there's been some improvement. So some some SEO work has probably been done on this. All right, let's take a look at some keywords here. These are keywords that are ranking, you know, in the, in the top 100 on Google. So you can kind of see what your best ones are. Okay, so, the, you know, they're loading for, I mean, they're ranking for doc solutions, a lot of these. But a lot of these aren't really money keywords, you know. I mean, they're good, they're related keywords, but here we go, industrial door installation, stuff like that. That's that's people looking for service, you know, and that's on page. Well, it's ranked 25, so it's on about page two. So we have a commercial door repair, Dallas, Texas, Houston security gates. So a lot of these good keywords right here are on page two or three. So they're not going to be getting any traffic. So if you go up here, you traffic percentage, you'll see that, you know, you're, you're ranking for them, but not not high enough to really benefit from from the traffic because not a lot of people go through you know past page one. So you know keep by keeping on improving your uh, your SEO, these will move up, get the first page, and it'll make a world of difference because page one and page two are two totally different things. But you got to work your way up. You got to start you know on page ten and and climb up. It, it takes time. So this is this is good. Uh, let's take a look at the site here. All right, so I like that it has a, a lot of the uh, keywords, you know, pretty big right here. And then in Houston, Texas, so we have some local keywords also. So it's good. It's got a lot of text. <clears throat> Here's another big paragraph of text. Obviously, we got to fix that map embed there, Google Map Embed. Um, definitely some more text and some more pictures with alt text in them would help. All right. Um, here's a, another little website you can use, SEOWebPageAnalyzer.com, and I'll show you um, kind of it's a it's a free site, and I'll, I'll I'll plug it in and show you kind of what I use it for. All right. So we're analyzing it. Okay. WWD redirection. So let's see here. So it has the www. If we do it without the www, okay. It seems like it redirects. So this one says it didn't, but it looks like it does. That's fine. All right, up here in the title, um, title is very important as far as ranking. So we have some keywords up here, which is good. I would put more. I would mix in a few keywords, and this is too long. You really want to limit it to like 50, 55 max. So just think about how you want what keywords you want to target the most. You might try door and dock solutions, you know, or door and dock repairs and installations in Houston, Texas, and then put your brand at the end. You know, or just mix it up with more keywords with a local keyword in there. Um, add a meta description here. You don't need to add meta keywords. Some of the different plugins use them, and some of them don't. But definitely want to get a description in here of about you know at least 200 words. Okay, heading structure very important too to ranking. I, I try to show this in some other videos. So if we look at the H1 here, which is a, an important ranking factor, it says stay connected. That's that's not a keyword. So you're going to want to have your H1 be door and dock you know, repairs, installation, whatever your main services are in Houston, somewhere in that H1. Okay, now here's the one, H2. That's that um, industrial dormer material handling. So this is right here. This is an H2. That's good. So I would say add an H1 above this with another paragraph of text. H1 with a good keyword in it. 
Okay. And I change these H4s to, you know, an H3. Change these three H4s to H3 just so it's in kind of a proper order. All right. And uh, you only want one H1, so change this to something else. You know, you could use a big, bold text, but don't have it be specifically a heading. All right, let's see, internal links. Um, it shows a lot of external links, so I'm not sure. I didn't see too many on there, but I, I didn't go deep into the HTML yet, but. Just something to keep in mind if, if you don't need any of this stuff. Okay, also, here's your images with empty alt text. Definitely, all your images, you want to put alt text and the keywords in there. Watch some other videos if you want to you know, learn more about what that is. But basically, it's just a little bit of code there that describes the image. And you can use a keyword while you're describing it. So if your keyword was, you know, dock door repair, you could say, a dock door, you know, alt text could be dock door being repaired in Houston. So that's got all your keywords in it, and it's also accurately describing the picture. All right. Okay, so that's kind of your your main page, which is your most important one. Um, let's look at your backlinks real quick. So I went over here to Majestic, and yeah, you do have some backlinks, so that's good. You got a little bit of trust flow, so that's what's allowing your site to rank a little bit but definitely when we look at the backlinks you know they're not very niche related or anything well some of them are so like maybe got homes might be like a home improvement blog here's some other blogs you know i mean not not great links but you know in my opinion the more links the better you know especially a decent link like these right here they're decent they have like a medium trust flow but by adding some more high quality links some press releases some other stuff like that will definitely you, your site is you know it's just it's, it's right there it's it's starting to rank and it, it's got a lot of text on it i noticed you have a lot of these different pages which are really great um some of them are, were really good some of them uh you know had a error no page like the services you definitely need to you know, sorry, page not found. That, that that's one of your main pages, so you definitely want to have that optimized with a thousand words of text, a couple of images. All right, so fix those page not founds, obviously. But all all these pages right here, like, let's see, let's go through a few and just take a look. Okay, so that one's not found, so that's not good. You definitely don't want these ones that are that are not found. You got to get some some content up there. Okay, that one's not found. So you got the right idea. You you have you know this is a good idea, but it's got to be completed. Telescoping door. And I would say on all these pages, once you get them filled out, geez, I feel like there was a definitely got to fix that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so here's one that was finally working. Let's see, truck restraints, loading docs in Texas. Okay, so that's good. It's got, you know, your keywords in it. It's got a little heading here. You might want to say truck restraints and then whatever the service is. Add a little bit more to that heading. But lots of text here in those images. If these images have alt text, that's definitely going to help. And then in these pages that you have here, I would put internal links. So... I would go through here and where, wherever there's a keyword in there that you want to rank for, I would highlight it and then link it to, say, your service page, which you need to optimize, or your home page. So use all these pages and link them back and push that internal link juice over to services, home, or whatever your most important landing pages are. All right. So, yeah, you got, you got a good start, but you got to get all these filled out and uh, add some more backlinks. Fix fix the 
the map is not loading right. Alright, fix that uh, spelling right there, stay connected. And here's, you know, the map thing that needs to be fixed. But, uh, good start. But definitely, you know, putting a little bit of work in this can go a long way. Because you have a really nice setup and outline. You just got to get the content in there finished up. You know, work, make sure you uh, use internal links properly when you're filling out that content. And use all these these pages to rank your most important landing pages. Okay, so point them to your landing pages. All right, that's all for now. Um, you know, hopefully I've given you a few tips that can help you out. If you want to move forward or anything, just give me a call.